Hey everyone, Scott Nichols here with Sigboat Creative Studios and today we're going to take a look at Tape Ball, our all-in-one PNG tape pack in 10K, a handcrafted high-res collection of over 300 PNG tape graphics across 29 categories of different tapes for complete customization. Easy to use for photo and video, these pre-keyed out tape graphics are perfect for seamlessly stacking and designing authentic scrapbook looks no matter the medium. Pack is compatible with all major photo and video editing software from Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro X, DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, Vegas, and more. I'm gonna take you through how easy it is to use these and apply these in Premiere Pro and Photoshop. Let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. Let's get started. When you download and unzip the pack, it's gonna come in three folders. You're gonna get the full 10K PNG overlays with 29 categories of different tape. So as you'll see here, we have every color of gaffer's tape and duct tape, and two different kinds of scotch tape as well. In the sound effects folder, you'll get over a hundred sound effects of pulling, tearing, and applying tapes. And then the video assets folder, you will get over 25 transitions where the tape sticks onto the screen, holds for a second, and then gets torn back off. Cool, let's jump into Premiere Pro and walk you through how easy it is to apply these. I've imported my folders here, the PNGs, the sound effects, and the video assets. And in the timeline, I have a white and a black color mat along with image of uh, Donovan Frankenreiter from a concert inside one of our photo film frames. And I'm just gonna quickly click into the PNG folder and grab a tape. So let's go ahead and I'll grab some red duct tape, drag and drop it on top and these are high resolution clips, so you will simply just scale them down and then just change your position where you would like them to be. So let's say I want one on the left side of that image and then we can grab another one, do the same thing, scale it down and change the position. And there you go, it looks like the photo film frame is taped to the background. And then two of the most popular looks are the Scotch tape graphics that I will quickly showcase those for you as well. We have two different kinds. We have a more clear Scotch tape and a more matte Scotch tape. And I'll show you the difference between the two. So again, just click and drag them into your timeline and scale them down. And this is the more clear tape. And you will want to set for the Scotch tape your blending modes to screen. And then I'll show you the mat as well. Grab one of the mats, drop it on top, scale it down, and change the blending mode to screen. Scotch tapes don't turn up too well on a white background, so a darker background, I'm gonna just deactivate the white background, and now you will see that the tape comes through a lot better. So this one is the matte version, and the left is the clear version. So you can see a subtle difference, but both really nice just to have those options. And then let me just show you how quick and easy it is. The same exact effect in Photoshop. You literally just, you simply drag and drop your tape into Photoshop. Once again, scale it down into position and you change your blending mode to screen. For That is for the Scotch tape looks. Um, and then, you know, you can grab any of the other tape assets just for this quick example, scale it down place it where you'd like. And there you go, it's that easy. So have fun with this guys. We highly recommend checking out the Photo Film Frames pack that we've used in this example. It's an excellent complimentary pack for your asset library. You'll get over 101 high resolution PNG photo film frames. You'll get 35 millimeter film frames, medium format, panorama, bunch of sprocket holes, and then a bunch of other film photo textures and artifacts. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. And we'll catch you on the next one.